Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 7 to the power of n plus 1 equals negative 49. Solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. So, if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a to the power of m. Now, what we are going to do will be to express this identity right here. That means we are going to have 7 power n times 7 power 1 equals negative 49. Now from here, I can isolate 7 power n by dividing this by 7. I divide this by 7. So from here, 7 cancels 7. I will simply have 7 power n equals negative 49 divided by 7 will give you negative 7. So from here, I apply natural log. I have natural log of 7 power n equals natural log of negative 7. So if you have natural log of a power p, this equals p times natural log of a. I apply that here. I have n times natural log of 7 equals, this is natural log of this negative 7. I can express it as negative 1 times 7. So from here, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. Applying this right here, what I'm going to have will be n times natural log of 7 equals natural log of negative 1 plus natural log of 7. So right now, Natural log of negative 1 is what? I can simply express negative 1 as e to the power of i times pi. Because e to the power of i times pi plus 1 equals 0. If you take this one over here, you have negative 1 equals e to the power of i times pi. So that means we are going to replace this negative 1 here with e to the power of i times pi. So we are now going to have n times natural log of 7 equals natural log of e to the power of i times pi plus natural log of 7. Now remember, like we said earlier, natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. I'm playing that here. The i times pi will come behind this. So half n times natural log of 7 equals i times pi times natural log of e plus natural log of 7. So right now here, this cancel this. I will simply have n times natural log of 7 equals i times pi plus natural log of 7. So from here, I need to isolate n by dividing this by natural log of 7. I also divide this by natural log of 7. So this cancel this. I will simply have n equals i times pi plus natural log of 7 divided by natural log of 7. So right now I have n equals i times pi divided by natural log of 7 plus natural log of 7 divided by natural log of 7. So this cancel this, we have 1. So from here, I have n equals i times pi plus 1, and this is divided by natural log of 7. Right? So this is our answer right now. So let's leave it this way. Now, we can also solve this exponential problem using another method or another identity. If you have 7 power n plus 1 equals negative 49, then I have a power x plus y equals a power x times a to the power of y. Applying that here, of 7 power n times 7 power 1 
equals negative 49. So what I'm going to do will be to divide this by 7 and divide this by 7. So this cancel this. I will simply have 7 power n equals negative 49 divided by 7, negative 7. So what I'm going to do will be to apply natural log. I will have natural log of sum power n equals natural log of negative self. So from here, we have natural log of a power b equals beta natural log of a. So what I'm going to do will be to move this over here. Of n times natural log of 7 equals natural log of this negative 7 here. I can express it as negative 1 times 7. Now, like I said earlier on, natural log of a times b equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. I believe I've written something like that here. So, Right now, we apply it here. We have n times natural log of 7 equals natural log of negative 1 plus natural log of 7. And this time around, we are going to make use of this. If square root of negative 1 here equals i, that means the squares, which cancel this, means negative 1 equals i power 2. So we have n times natural log of 7 equals natural log of this is i power 2 plus natural log of 7. And natural log of x power y equals y times natural log of x. So the 2 comes behind this. That means we are simply going to have n times natural log of 7 equals 2 times natural log of i plus natural log of so. So the next step we are going to take will be to isolate n. I divide this by natural log of 7. I divide this by natural log of 7. Let's cancel this. I will simply have n equals 2 times natural log of i plus natural log of 7 divided by natural log of 7. So from here, f n equals to 10 natural log of i divided by natural log of 7 plus natural log of 7 divided by natural log of 7. This cancel this as well. So half n equals to 10 natural log of i divided by natural log of 7 plus 1. So we make use of this. Now, at this point, we have this answer right here. And we also have this other answer here, which is i times pi divided by natural log of 7 plus 1. So as you can see, this is 2 times natural log of i, and this is i times pi. So every other thing remains the same, meaning that 2 times natural log of i is the same thing as i times pi. So any of these methods that we use, they are absolutely very correct. And that is it guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.